As many of you already know, Eagle has a workflow with out of this mechanical application called Fusion 360. This workflow provides you to render your circuit board directly to Fusion 360 without the need of converting files. Yep, you heard that right. No file conversion needed. For a realistic view of your circuit board in Fusion 360, we strongly recommend that you map 3D models to the packages that are you using in your design. There are a few options to assign 3D models to your components in Eagle. In this quick tutorial, we'll be teaching you how to create a managed library and assign 3D models. For this demonstration, I have created an example library, which I will convert to a managed library. This is done by clicking on library and selecting the option create managed library. A duplicate copy of the library that I'm about to manage will be actually saved locally at this path. I'm going to go ahead and select the option create manage library. Now what's a manage library? Manage library is a mirror image of your local library with the difference that the managed library provides you the capability of actually assigning it a 3D step model to your package. There are other options to generate packages and 3D models in Eagle, but for this example, we're only going to work with the managed library and uploading step models that I have acquired. The managed library has been created, so a duplicate exists of my local library on library.io. I could view on web. This will actually take me to library.io where I could see my library. But for this example, we're actually going to map our 3D models to existing components in my current library. I'll click OK. I have a device here that actually has two package variants as you could see here. I'm going to select one of the package variants from this device and actually assign it a 3D model. When I select the package I wish to map, this will open up my browser to our editor that we're going to be using to map the 3D models. The default box comes up. We actually now want to map an actual model. That way we get a realistic render of this component. So I'll select upload a step file, which is a step file I acquired earlier today. I'll select the model and click on open. After it uploads the step model, it's a good possibility I may have to move the step model image within the editor. That way the pads actually do line up with the component. For this example, this model actually mapped up pretty good from the get-go. I'll click on Draft to save what I have done so far for this component, for this package. And I'll just give this a model. Create. This is creating a second version of, of this package in the 3D model. So the first one would be that gray box that came up by default. The second one is actually the step model that we have uploaded. Now that we've created the package successfully, let's return to the library in Eagle. As you could see here by this little gear that comes up, this package has a new update. I'm just going to go ahead and do a right click and say update to the latest version. It now has successfully updated, but now I need to save my library locally. And now that I've saved my local library, I need to synchronize it with the library that is on the cloud. And that's accomplished by clicking on library and click here where it says new version. As you could see, I had version one. Since I'm now pushing a new version, I should be getting version two really soon. Now, if I edit this device, we'll see that one of the package variants actually has a 3D model associated to it, while the other one does not have the 3D model yet. So let's go ahead and map a 3D model to the second variant. But instead of doing it from the device option menu, 
I'm actually going to do it from the package menu here directly. Go ahead and select here. Now do a right click, and select here where it says using 3D package. Select the small outline transistor here. This opens, uh, opens up the browser again into the editor. I'm going to select which step model I wish to associate to it. Now it's uploading the associated step model that I wish to use for this particular package. This one did not come lined up, so let's go ahead and line it up quickly. Okay, That's all that needs to be done. Let's go ahead and save this. Tell it to create a new version. The first version is the one with the default box. The second version is actually with the step model. Click on Create. Go back to the Eagle Editor. As you can see, there's been an update. Go ahead and right click and select update to the latest version. I'll save the library. And now I'm going to save the library, but I'm going to push for a new update. So it's going to create a new version. We're at version 2. Now it's going to go ahead and create version 3 of the library. That way it synchronizes with the library that I have on library.io. finish. Now let's go ahead and do a right click and edit the device again. And you'll notice that now both package variants have the appropriate 3D model associated to it. Now please remember that this is not the only way to associating 3D models to your packages in Eagle. We have the package calculator option you could actually select packages that are already you have created in the past using the package generator or by creating other managed libraries and they'll be stored on your account or you could actually use packages that exist in other libraries and transfer them and import them into the library that you're currently working on thank you for joining us and have a great day